Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Before I get started with the video topic, I want you guys to complete a poll. I ran a poll on Twitter, by the way, link in the description. Didn't get a lot of votes, so I'm gonna put it here where more people can see it in the top right-hand corner of your screen, that little eye icon up there. This is a poll of which map do you want to see me do a 101 series on next? You guys absolutely murdered 9101. The best support from a 101 series that I've ever had. And just thank you guys so much for that support and I want to serve you guys as best as I can so I want to do the 101 series that you guys would like to see next so are you more interested in Voyage? It is a little bit difficult, kind of an underrated map in my opinion, but it is pretty simple and easy to get set up on and easy to learn in my opinion. Blood of the Dead is the more complicated one, harder to understand, really hard, kind of that Black Ops 3 style, kind of like you love zombies, you've been in zombies a long time, so Blood of the Dead is gonna be your favorite, it's kind of my favorite. And then they're classified, a really good, really simple map, great for beginners, but it's a DLC, so, let me know what 101 series you, do, you would like to see by using that eye icon above. So let's talk about the patch notes. If you want to see a full list of patch notes, they're on the subreddit. I'm just going to talk about my feelings and my thoughts about them. You've probably heard them by now anyway. First things first, reduced frequency of hellhounds that spawn on mixed rounds in Blood of the Dead and Classified. This is fantastic. If you watched the live stream I did on Blood of the Dead last week, you'll have seen that I thought the dogs were nerfed already. It definitely felt like they were less so much on Blood of the Dead. Uh, but now that we have like firm stance from Treyarch, reduced frequency of hellhounds that spawn in on Blood and classified, hopefully this is going to alleviate a lot of the community's issues. There was a lot of posts on Reddit just showcasing, just playing the, playing the maps. Dogs would spawn one, two, three, four after another. You'd kill them another one, kill them another. It was ridiculous. So hopefully I'm going to play a game of Classified, maybe Blood here later, test that out, see how effective it is. But this is such a positive thing. I love how Treyarch's communicating. Almost every single day for the past three weeks since the games came out, they've been communicating. This is fantastic. Second thing I want to talk about, they increased the XP earn rate in solo and two-player matches. But there was this whole fiasco when people found out that the more plays you had in a game, the more XP you got for everything, for kills, for doors, for surviving. The XP was uh, doubled, tripled, quadrupled for how many players you had in the game, including bots. So you can go into a solo game, add in all the bots, you can get dead shot, camp somewhere with the Titan on Blood of the Dead, and just kill, get XP, and people were, were doing a whole prestige in like two games. Super easy, super quick, and um, a lot of the solo players were like, this is kind of bad, I'm being punished for playing solo, and this is going to alleviate that. Personally, for me, I didn't really, I don't really care, you know, like I love the grind, I love getting stuff, I love ranking up, I love that aspect of zombies, and it really honestly wasn't all that so to me, you know, like if you never said anything, I'd be like, alright, this is how we, it's how we progress. I probably had around 50 game on three of the maps, and then I probably had two round 30 games on all of the maps, and that was like more than a prestige's worth of XP, and to me, that's fine, you know, that's good, that's like 10, 12, 13 games for a prestige, that's really good, that's decent, I don't know, this wasn't a big deal to me, but hey, again, Treyarch's listening, they changed it, solo two-player matches, good on you, thank you Treyarch, that's gonna be great. Before we get to the biggest one, there's two little side notes that aren't implemented yet, but Treyarch said that they're working on. First of all, the XP earn rate for hardened and realistic difficulties are going to be increased in a future update. This is gonna be fantastic. I've kind of, I've been testing the waters in a little bit of uh, hardened difficulty, at least on classified, because I really love the map, I'm comfortable with the map, so, and I got to around like 12 before I had to like leave for work, and didn't go down, barely got hit, and I was opening up the map and doing well, so this is gonna be fun. I think we'll have some live streams, and I think we'll see a lot more players playing on the hardened difficulty, especially now that the health increase, uh, but I think this is gonna be good with the XP increase, the health increase, I think hardened is gonna be a really nice challenge for the zombie community. And in an upcoming update, um, the Zombies team is planning to increase the earn rate for Nebulium Plasma, ne Nebulium, ne Nebulium Plasma across the board and all uh, in, an, uh, in an upcoming game update. So that is interesting. Uh, Nebulium Plasma, I was going to do a 101 video on it. 
I have no freaking clue why we get how much we get. I genuinely don't know. It could be kills, it could be XP, it could be rounds. It seems to be time-based in some way. It kind of feels like Liquid Divinium because sometimes I'll purchase something, get it. Sometimes I'll be mid-round and I'll get Nebula and Plasma and I just don't understand why. It's just weird. It's just weird. I don't... I don't get how it works. If we get an increase, I definitely think it was really slow. You know, I don't have that many elixirs and I've been playing for a long time. And Prestige 1 only have like maybe 12 elixirs. Very weird. But I'm glad this is a positive change. Again, Trek listening to the community. Last thing. Last thing is that they doubled the bleed out timer on the last zombie per round from 5 minutes to 10 minutes. This is fantastic. If you watched my my worst thing about the, the worst thing about Black Ops 4 Zombies, the previous video I did, you'll have seen this is my least favorite thing about Black Ops 4. The fact that the last zombie bleeds out after a certain while. It's just it's not good for Easter eggs, it's not good for setting up on a map, it's not good for you know the first time you play a map, looking for Easter eggs, looking for parts, looking for places to go, looking for things around the map, just appreciating the map. A zombie bleeds out, you can't appreciate the map. So really happy to see this change. This is really great. But also, you would have seen that video that I said this benefits nobody. That wasn't exactly true. From every perspective that I had, it wasn't benefiting anybody. It didn't benefit high rounds, casuals, or um, Easter egg hunters. However, it was actually benefiting game balance. Because if we look at another change that happened here, uh, they said Treyarch increased cooldown time on classic elixirs to balance increased last zombie bleed out time. So, this makes so much sense. Treyarch had these elixirs on a cooldown and they had the last zombie die in order for you to actually progress the game. In order for, for them to prevent players from just training the last zombie until all of their elixirs and equipments was, was cooled down, was done, and ready and recharged. That makes 100% sense. However, I don't feel like that is worthy enough for this. I don't feel, and especially with how they've nerfed Aftertaste, they it's made it time-based now instead of just the next time you go down. Head scan is less effective. You know, it's still effective, but it's less effective. And and just the the increased cooldown time is so much. I've had I've seen people on the subreddit go, I've seen the frenzy go from around like 46 to 56 and just have his temporal gift not recharge yet. Uh, and here's the catch 22. Treyarch, you have done a phenomenal job balancing your elixirs. There is no elixir in this game that is a gimme. That's a freebie. That's a, oh, you get out of jail free card. There is no elixir like that in zombies. Even aftertaste, even if you get all your perks, it's not all, the, not all that different without your perks. It's just a convenience thing. Aftertaste is not as powerful as it was in Black Ops 3 because of how balanced the perk system is and how balanced the elixir system is. The cooldown really doesn't matter. Why not refresh everybody's uh, at the beginning of the round? Why why punish people who are willing to be bored for 5-10 minutes while their elixirs cool down uh, to get their burnt out again? You know, there's no so overpowered gobblegum elixir in this game that's worth this kind of exploit or, or this exploit prevention system in the game. An unfortunate side effect of this increased cooldown time is that these elixirs can only be used a couple times in any given ca casual game. I played, I've been playing games since this update has come out, and I really only have maybe two or three times to use my elixirs before round 30. That is, that's a long time. That's a long, long time. And especially with the common, rare, legendary, epic elix elixirs having a decreased cooldown time, they're pushing those. They're pushing those uh, transaction, the micro DLC on us and kind of being like, yeah, you don't need to use those common elixirs, which are probably some of the most fun elixirs and gobblegums we've had ever in zombies. And it's just kind of a shame. And there is a large, large uh, outcry for this uh, cooldown time to be decreased again back to what it was before, or at least something better. I think Treyarch's going to listen. I think Treyarch's going to decrease the cooldown timers, and I think that this is going to be a non-issue after a while. But that's all the changes, and there's many different little ones, there's many different little things and, and on all that stuff, but those are the big ones that I wanted to talk about. And it's Sunday, it's a casual commentary, I just wanted to get this video out for you guys, get that poll out for you guys, and just kind of 
let you guys uh, dictate that and just hear some of my thoughts about Black Ops 4 Zombies. I am I'm still in love with this game. This is a fantastic game. I absolutely love it. I love a lot of these changes. The only downside being that increased cooldown time on classic elixirs. Everything else, super positive. Cannot wait for the XP changes. Cannot wait for the Nebulium Plasma changes. It's This is great. This is going to be fantastic. And I'm hopefully they'll get those blue screens to fix eventually. And we also figured out you can get the Warden and start the Blood of the Dead Easter egg as early as round like five. This is crazy. This is a good time to be a Zombies fan. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. And speaking of support, if you made it this far into the video, perhaps it's worth a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.